Welcome, my name is Erin and I work at Yoga on the Lake and we are going to be flowing through a 30 minute intro to Vinyasa. We'll go ahead and get started in child's pose. And allow the knee to come nice and wide. Intention of the big toes behind you to touch, fingertips slowly begin to crawl forward. Allow the hips to begin to sink. Third eye center or the forehead can connect to the earth. Let the body be still and silent. First few moments of breath to connect to the practice. Feel free to close the eyes for a deeper connection. Begin to bring a little softness through the body. Shoulders can draw back from the ears. Begin to notice the breath. Simple inhales and exhales. Begin to quiet through the mind. Allow the thoughts of the day to simply melt away into the mat. And when you're ready, slowly begin to draw deeper exposure through the breath. Nice, strong inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Breath in together, fill up through the nose. Open mouth, full release of the body. One more breath in tension, deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, surrender to the mat. And stay for a moment with this breath. Feel free to begin to rock the forehead side to side. Gentle connection again of the third eye center. Slow movement through the neck. Maybe a gentle shift through the hips. And begin to make your way to a tabletop. All fours when you're ready. Mindful to stack the shoulders over the wrists, the hips over the knees. Come to a long neutral spine, crown of the head is forward. As you inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale into cat, round through the back side, press the earth away. Inhale, cow pose, full expression, take your time, lift the heart. Exhale to cat, round through the back side. One more round, all on your own. Full engagement of body and breath, drawing that deeper connection to the self. And pull the spine back to a neutral space. Crawl it forward to a sphinx pose. Allow the belly to surrender to the earth. Forearms will gently press into the ground as you roll the shoulders back. Invite the neck to an easy neutral space. Eyes can stay closed if you like. Then begin to drop the right ear toward the right shoulder. Gentle stretch through the left side. Let the heart center, Anahata, begin to lift. Strong round of breath to hold this space. And switch opposite side, drop the chin toward the chest, round through the neck, left ear, left shoulder, open up the right side. Stay for breath connection. And drop the chin to chest one more time, pull the neck back to a neutral space. And surrender the forehead all the way to the earth. Palms press along the low ribs, elbows draw to the sky. Inhale, cobra pose, easy back bend, lift through the heart. Exhale to release, forehead reconnects to the earth. One more cobra pose, full breath in, lift. Exhale to release, forward, forehead connects. Draw the body back to a tabletop. Take your time. Roll it out through cow, cat, or any side to side motion. Reawaken through the side bodies. Two or three breaths in this space. Let it be slow. Let it be controlled. Deep engagement with the body. 
Begin to draw back to a neutral spine. Curl the toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. First time here, pedal it out. Bend the knees, let the head hang heavy. Mindful to draw the fingers nice and wide. Allow some of the, the weight to shift toward the hips. Next breath, slowly begin to find a little stillness through the downward facing dog. Take a full breath in to stay. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Inhale to look forward. Exhale, walk to the top of the mat. Feet hip distance apart, come to a ragdoll. Bow forward as you hinge at the hips, grab for opposite elbows. Feel free to sway side to side. Move meditatively with the inhales and exhales. Release with the shoulders, your neck, your jaw. Let it be loose, allow the body to move freely. Fingertips reconnect to the earth. Take a halfway lift, find a little length. We'll stay for a moment of breath, draw the belly to the spine, full inhale to stay. Forward fold, let it go. One more halfway lift, lengthen the backside. Forward fold to release. Inhale, mountain pose, ground down, rise, reach all the way to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep the fingertips long overhead. Exhale, cactus the arms, draw the elbows nice and wide. Heart center begins to open, lift to the sky. Beautiful mountain pose, find your center. Fingertips lift, forward fold, let it go. Halfway lift to lengthen, forward fold to release, rolling it through. Mountain pose, ground down, reach long overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Back to the sky, mountain pose, lift. Exhale, cactus the arms, open the heart. Back to mountain pose. Forward fold, let it go. Halfway lift to lengthen. Forward fold to release. Mountain pose, ground down, rise all the way to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Mountain pose, reach it high, fingertips sweep. Cactus the arms, open through the heart. Mountain pose, take it tall. Forward fold, Uttanasana, release. Last time together, halfway lift to lengthen. Forward fold, let it go. Mountain pose, ground down and rise, reach for the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Mountain pose, take it high, fingertips lift. Cactus the arms, expose the heart. Back through center, take it tall. Forward fold, surrender to the earth. Halfway lift, high plank, step the toes back. Press the hips high, downward facing dog. Take a moment to reconnect. Pedal it out as you need, then find a little strength again. Stillness through the body, lengthen through the back side, let the head hang heavy. Full breath in to connect. Hold for the exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk to the top of the mat, forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Forward fold, let it go. Mountain pose, ground down and reach all the way to the sky. Exhale, sink into chair, bend the knees, allow the hips to sink. Mindful of the space, feel it out. Feel free to lengthen back through the legs and sink back in as you bend the knees. 
Create a little movement as we come into our first chair. Belly draws into the spine. If you'd like to modify the space, hands can come to the heart. Full breath in to stay. Forward fold to release, let it go. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. High plank, plant the hands, step the toes back. Downward facing dog, shift your hips to the sky. Inhale, the right leg lifts to the sky. Low lunge, draw your foot forward. Inhale to warrior one, the back foot seals. Belly draws up off the thigh, fingertips lift to the sky. Feel free to square through the space, a little gentle movement through the body. Feel it out. One more strong breath in to hold. Exhale, low lunge, plant the hands, frame the front foot. Step back to high plank, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg takes the lift. Low lunge, draw your foot forward. Inhale, warrior one, seal the back foot, come to rise, take your time. Feel it out, allow the legs to hold the weight of the body. A little lightness through the upper heart center opens again as you draw the shoulders back. Nice and strong through the core space, breath in to hold. Exhale, low lunge, plant the hands, connect to the earth. Step back to high plank, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Inhale, look to the top. Exhale, walk all the way to the top, forward fold. Halfway lift to lengthen, forward fold, let it go. Mountain pose, ground down, reach, breath to movement. Exhale, sink into chair. One breath in to stay, forward fold, let it go. Halfway lift, high plank, step the toes back. Downward facing dog, take your time, shift your hips. Right leg takes the lift. Low lunge, draw your foot forward. Warrior one, ground down, rise, reach to the sky. Exhale, low lunge, plant the hands. Step back, high plank. Downward facing dog, left leg takes the lift. Low lunge, draw your foot forward. Warrior one, ground down, reach, strong through the space. Low lunge, plant the hands, step the toes back, high plank, downward facing dog. Last time together, full breath in to stay. Hold for the exhale. Look forward on the breath in. Travel to the top as you exhale. Halfway lift to lengthen. Forward fold, let it go. Mountain pose, reach all the way to the sky. Exhale, sink into chair. Breath into hold, forward fold, let it go. Halfway lift, high plank, plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Right leg takes the lift. Low lunge, draw your foot forward. Warrior one, come to rise. Low lunge, plant the hands, step it back, high plank, downward facing dog, left leg, last side lifts, low lunge, draw your foot forward, warrior one, strongly rise, reach, low lunge, plant the hands, step back, high plank, downward facing dog, then slowly surrender to the knees. Take a moment in child's pose. If you'd like to modify this space, knees can stay together. Upper body surrenders over the legs. Take a moment to breathe, to reconnect. Soften through the side body space. Breath and tension through the shoulder blades, the hips. And slowly invite the right fingertips underneath the left shoulder to thread the needle. Right cheek can connect to the mat. If you like the eyes to close, feel free. One more round 
your breath. And release the space as you crawl the fingertips forward. And thread the needle opposite side. The left fingers will draw under the right shoulder. Gentle connection of the left cheek to the mat. Let the hips sink just a little further. One more full round of breath. And draw back to center. Last moment in your child's pose. Let it be deep, let it be strong. Then invite the body back to tabletop. Come to all fours. Long neutral spine as you engage in this space. And slowly crawl both palms over to the right side of the mat. Allow the hips to sink toward the heels. Nice stretch through the left side of the body. Third eye can surrender to the earth. Take a round of breath to connect. On your inhale, come back through center. Travel through tabletop as you draw the fingertips to the left side. Open the opposite side of the body. Feel out the space. Notice the difference between the left and the right. Always open with honor and gratitude for the self and the physical practice. Then draw back to a neutral space. Body comes to a tabletop, lift, roll it out through cow-cat variation, few moments of breath to re-engage the spine. Let the breath be strong, let it be audible, sharing the energy outwardly. And once again, invite the spine back to a neutral space. Curl the toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Pedal it out, bend the knees. One more moment of breath to find your down dog. Nice and strong in this gentle inversion. Inhale, the right leg lifts to the sky. Exhale, low lunge, draw your foot forward. Inhale to crescent lunge all the way up. The back foot, the back heel stays lifted off the earth. Nice and strong bend through the right knee. Fingertips reach energetically. Breath in to stay. Exhale, hands to the heart. Full breath in to prepare. Prayer twist to the right, left elbow toward the right thigh. Palms can stay to heart center. Feel free to play with the gaze, maybe down toward the earth if you're new to the space or invite the gaze to draw over the right shoulder toward the sky. Last exhale to hold. Slowly back through center, crescent lunge, find a little lift, lengthen. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Feel it out, a little lengthen and then bend back in through the front leg, create the space that you need as the hips begin to shift. And flip the front palm, reverse warrior, lay back, open the right side of the body. One strong breath in to stay. Exhale to side angle, fingertips reach floor to ceiling or forearm toward the thigh. Nice and strong through the heart center. One breath in to stay. Exhale, low lunge, square through the hips, plant the hands. Easy twist, the left palm stays planted, right fingertips take the lift. Beautiful, surrender to the earth, palm connects, low lunge, step back, high plank, downward facing dog, take a moment of breath. Left leg takes the lift. Low lunge, draw your foot forward. Crescent lunge all the way up, come to rise. Back heel stays lifted again, feel free to play it out. A little bend and flex of the front knee, deepen into the space as you square your hips. Strong through the shoulders, pull them back just slightly, open through the heart, full breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale to prepare. Exhale to the left, prayer twist, right elbow toward the left knee. Same variations of space. Feel free to play with the gaze. Soften through the heart. 
One more exhale. Back through center, crescent lunge. Take your time as you lift. Belly draws off the thigh. And open up, warrior two. Take your time once again. Let it be organic. Hips begin to shift. Mindful of the front knee, drawing that space strong over the ankle. Let the gaze soften over the left fingertips and flip the front palm. Lay back, reverse, open the left side body. One more breath in to hold here. Side angle to surrender, fingertips to the earth. Always an option to pull forearm to the thigh to ease through the space. One more breath in. Exhale to a low lunge, plant the hands, mindful of the hips. Easy twist, the left fingertips take the lift. Breath into hold. Low lunge, plant the hands. Step back to high plank, downward facing dog. Look forward on the inhale. Walk to the top on the exhale. Take your time, forward fold. Beautiful halfway lift, let it be slow. Forward fold to release. Fingertips to hips, roll all the way to a standing posture. And allow the palms to come along the side body. We'll move into standing balance, tree pose. Start by grounding into the left foot. Right foot will come into your balance space. Mindful as we're drawing the, the sole of the right foot toward the left ankle, the left shin, or all the way to the left thigh. Palms can stay to the heart center or along the side body for balance, or feel free, free to reach fingertips to the sky. One more round of breath. And slowly release the space. Palms can fall along the side. Close the hip gently, right toes reconnect. Opposite side when you're ready. We'll ground into the right foot. Allow the left to come into its balanced space. Make your choice and variation. Sole of the foot to the ankle, the shin or the thigh. Avoid direct contact to the knee. Play with the hands, heart center, lift to the sky. Create an expression of the space, full round of breath. And slowly surrender, palms along the side, toes to the earth. Let the arms be heavy along the side body, shine the palms forward. Take a moment to roll the shoulders back and down. Full breath in together. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Mountain pose, lift long overhead. Forward fold, let it go. Halfway lift, high plank, step the toes back. Downward facing dog. Right leg takes the lift. Half pigeon on the right, knee toward the wrist, shin to the earth. And take a moment to square the hips, the left leg is long. To modify this space, like Joe, you can come to the back side of the body, right ankle over the left knee. You're ready to amplify the space, so deeper challenge. Begin to hinge forward at the hips. Surrender all the way to the earth like Jackie. Third eye center connects. Last full round of breath. Deepen on the exhale. Begin to find your release. Coming back up through long arms. If you're on the back side, draw the soles of the feet together. Gentle windshield wiper out through the knees, loosen the low back. If you went for full variation, take just a moment of breath to come through tabletop, lengthen the legs. And opposite side, pulling your space back to a downward facing dog. If you're on the back, Left ankle over the right knee. Lift the left leg high, then draw the knee toward the wrist. Find half pigeon pose, surrender in the space. Mm -hmm. 
Last full round of breath. And come back up through long arms. If you are on the back side, slowly make your way back to a tabletop as well, whatever makes sense to the body. Roll it out through a cow-cat variation. And take just one more round of breath here. We'll meet in a seated posture toward the back of the mat. Draw the sit bones down toward the ground. Legs come out long in front of you. Then draw the soles of the feet together. Let the knees fall heavy. Baddha Konasana pose will sit up nice and tall. Interlace the fingers around the toes. Take a breath in to hold. Bow forward as you exhale to release. One full round of breath. Exhale to stay. Round all the way back up to a seated posture. Beautiful palms to the outside of the knees. Pull the knees into a center space and surrender to the back side. Allow the soles of the feet to stay connected to the mat. Knees draw to the sky. Set up for bridge pose. Palms come along the side body. Ground down, then lift the hips nice and high. Deep belly connection through the space. Allow the pranic energy, the breath, to draw you in. One more full round. And surrender the spine back down to the earth. Take your time. Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together. Knees fall heavy. Allow the left hand to heart. Right hand draws to belly. One more back bend together. Invite the knees back to center. Ground through the soles of the feet. Bridge pose for a second time. Let the palms be long. Lift the hips when you're ready. Full breath in to engage. Open through the heart. Breath is strong. Deep inhales and exhales. Feel that belly breath connection. And slowly surrender back down to the earth, mindful of the spine. Supta Baddha Konasana again as you draw the soles of the feet together. Knees are heavy. Take a moment to counterpose through this space. And invite the knees back to center. Move as slow as you like. Pull the knees tight to the chest. A gentle rock side to side, a little massage to the low back. And arms gently fall open to a T. Let the palms shine to the sky. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, supine to the right. Both knees heavy to the right side of the body. Allow the gaze to shift to the left. Feel a little heaviness in the space. Gentle opening through the left side. And switch it out when you're ready. Let the knees come slowly through center. Supine to the left, opposite side. Heaviness through the body again. The gaze can shift to the right. And pull the knees back to the chest. Full removing pose. Opposite elbows can grab around the shins. Pull the body in nice and tight. Feel free to invite the nose to the knees as well. Deep, full breath in. Exhale, Shavasana. Final rest. Let the body be long. Take up a little space. Arms can fall along the side body. Feel free to shine the palms back to the heavens. Roll the toes and the ankles open. Lightness through the hips. The back side of the body surrenders to the earth. Let the heart center be open with life, with love. Compassion for the self, gratitude for the practice. Few moments of breath to connect.
Begin to come back into your body. Settle the awareness of the breath, slow movement through fingers, toes, your wrists and ankles. Feel free to reach the fingers long overhead for a full body stretch. And invite the knees to the chest one more time as you fall heavy to the right side, fetal pose. Let the heart center be open with love and joy, release of the physical practice. And when you're ready, come to a seated posture, face the front of the room. Invite the hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra, connection of the thumb knuckles to the heart, roll your shoulders back, take a moment to breathe. And yogis will close this space together with an audible breath. Inhale to fill, open mouth, let it go. Beautiful thumb knuckles to third eye center. Together we'll bow forward with light, with love and compassion. It has been my honor. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you for joining us. We hope to see you soon.